Various stages of enlightenment follow when a soul begins to awaken and find the growth that is planned out for them to experience during their incarnation and experiences in the lower realms. You all experience various forms of enlightenment that come in various stages and for many of you, the lessons you learn are preludes to lessons that are quite similar, but are lessons which you learn in much more intense manners later on in your growth. What we mean by this is that many of you are learning the same few lessons over and over again, in more intense ways each time, and in ways that will garner you a deeper understanding of the situation, and every situation that plays out in your lives that revolve around it or has to do with it in any way. Everything you experience in your lives paves the way for a deeper and greater understanding, and the realizations that can be brought forth by experiencing specific things along your planned growth will garner in you, an understanding of the lessons you have set out for yourselves to undergo and transmute the energies behind. You will find that many of the lessons you plan out for yourselves partially involve feeding an action or mindset that has been fed by the collective exponentially in the past and in your current moment, and your learning of lessons in that specific avenue will serve to transmute the collective dense energies, and vibrations behind the particular matter you would be working through and transmuting. You have all set out specific lessons to undergo and experience as you continued along a lower dimensional growth that is now increasingly paving way for the higher dimensional perspectives, and understanding to be brought forth, from within, where it has naturally always resided. The individual lessons of retaining a clam and balanced center and accepting and respecting the perspectives and opinions of those around you, even if they are not particularly your own are paving the way for a collective understanding that is so very important to be garnered in each one of you, if you wish to unite and repair your world in the ways the plan is calling for. You will all be working to help repair the condition your world is in, and you're getting together and beginning to form groups centered around the restoration of your planet, and the establishment of the new paradigm is highly recommended right now. Everything you do in this moment will set the stage for the already built-upon foundation, of higher dimensional understanding, and realization to be brought forth within the collective. As so many of you know at this point, everything you do is aimed at assisting the collective and helping every soul on your world to find the higher states of consciousness and the accompanying prosperity that all truly deserve. Every soul deserves the personal sovereignty, freedom and abundance that should be denied to nobody and when garnering a higher dimensional perspective and understanding you will see that money and currency specifically is indeed a natural energy that can be worked with and attracted to oneself. To attract the energy of abundance to oneself, one must first look at how one visualizes the very energy of currency. How do you personally see money, dearest souls? Do you see it as a tool to get by, to continue living, or do you see it for what it truly is, a potential energy of unity that can be expressed within your collective consciousness? As you find yourselves able to get together and establish a new way of living and being, a new financial system, and an entirely reworked way of exchanging the abundance all will rightfully be given will naturally be garnered, and we and your galactic brethren will be with you to help you establish such ways of being, but for the most part, apart from what has already been done, and planned in regards to the planetary finances, you dear souls will be deciding just how the temporary new financial system and every other important worldly matter of concern will be established. This is because there will be no more souls who desire to control or establish your world in a certain way. We ask you all to realize, and see what is to be done on your world, as the rebuilding and repairing of it and your society will be up to you, and while we know, and can feel that you dear souls can absolutely do it, and will do it easily, we wish for you to realize that you will truly be in charge of establishing new ways to live by and your jobs will be anything but small. Indeed, you will have the largest jobs that have ever been asked of any individual or collective, and while you will enjoy every last bit of the jobs, you will perform as you will all fulfill a specific aspect of the collective puzzle, you are all a part of, the job is still big and is still there to be done and we wish to ask you not to remain idle. Indeed. Many of you are already standing up to the oppression that has attempted to establish a set way of living that you did not and do not resonate with, and we will always applaud the efforts each of you is again, what you are doing is paving the way for the widespread change so many of you have worked with so much of yourselves, to see established. We would like for you to imagine a planet truly reflecting the actions and will of its citizens. Your planet has, 
of course, reflected the vibrations of density and darkness as well as those of separation that humanity has expressed, and fed for centuries, but the true will of the people, of every soul who sees the need to change the condition your world is in, and of every soul who is willing to begin working with all of themselves, and with everyone around them to actually begin the building of your new paradigm, is a powerful thing indeed, and you are all going to see and realize the true power you possess as a collective and as individuals, and this realization will be felt in your collective vibrations. What we mean by this is that upon viewing the world you have created after the bulk of the work has been done, and you find yourselves able to get a clear vantage point of the good you have done, you will see that what you've created is nothing like the paradigm you currently exist in as you absorb this communication. You will see that what you've built is nothing short of a heavenly utopia that has been created, not just by your efforts and actions, but by the thoughts, feelings and emotions that have been fed into the collective conscious and unconscious of humanity. The planetary vibrations continue in their lightning and refinement process, and as so many sources have spoken to, this process will begin to be reflected in such vibrations and the actions and intents you express in any moment will strongly determine the reflections you are given, in your personal lives and on the world stage. So many of you are so very geared toward rebuilding your world and feeding positivity and harmony into the collective vibrations, and while it's understandable that you will experience difficulty whilst on the earth, the feeding of negativity in each one of you can be stopped easily if the lightened perspectives that can truly be felt, can be allowed in. The beauty of sadness has been spoken of before, and we wish you to know that sadness does not have to be a lower dimensional or dense energy. Indeed, we do not experience sadness in the higher realms, as you dear souls do, but we do experience a very strong form of empathy that is bred out of our compassion, and love for every soul who is a part of our one infinite creator. We experience joy ourselves when you feel joy, and we feel for you when you feel the pain, fear or sadness that are for the most part, aspects of the dimension and vibrations you exist in. Whilst experiencing the lower vibrations, you will feel the lower emotions and tendencies that drive a lower dimensional experience, and what is unique about your experience now is that you are finding the higher realms from within the lower ones, and what you have previously fed and accepted as normal is now being looked at from a perspective of understanding all that could potentially hold you back or distort the natural light so many of you are finding within. You can find and feel the light now and so many of you have made your supremely strong efforts to do so, and as your year 2013 progresses, many of you will find the strides along your life paths that will see you truly ready to integrate massively pure amounts of higher dimensional logos energy, unto yourselves and unto the collective vibrations. As always, dear souls, what you do and feel on the inside is done and felt on the outside because again, you are feeding into the collective consciousness. You always have been and always will be, and in the higher realms you will find that everything that could possibly be thought of, felt or expressed is instantly known by all. Nothing can be hidden and if one would attempt to do so, they would simply be unable as every soul is aligned energetically, as individual and collective facets of our Creator. We so enjoy this harmony and this collective consciousness that is expressed and felt all throughout every ascended realm, an echelon of our Creator's magnificent structure, and we dearly wish for each of you to be able to feel this, as well which is why we have been working with so much of ourselves to help your planet ascend. While some souls may not quite see it as possible or reasonable from their vantage points, an aspect of assisting your world for us has indeed been to issue our communications to humanity, through any scribe or condit who can become open to our presence, and the validity, and reality of our decision to communicate to, and through humanity at this time. Indeed, souls have channeled all throughout your earthly history and those who are doing so now are simply picking up on latent abilities that each of you have always had, to access hidden away parts of yourselves as well as the energies of individual ascended souls, and entire collectives who are sending our frequencies and energies down to the earth for any soul to pick up on. Specifically, we meet with many of our scribes upon etheric planes that are the results of emerging between our realms, and those of the earth. We extend our frequencies down to certain extents as we broadcast them to open instruments and conduits, and we issue our communications which are encrypted and encoded in the energies we send out to each scribe who picks upon us. For example, 
our scribe is currently picking up on the overall energies of our entire collective, not just our impressions or communications. The impressions and encoded communications come within and are results of the energy being absorbed and if one absorbs or feels lower or denser energy than that of the entity they would be bringing through, they can know that they are communicating with a being of a denser consciousness, and not the soul whom they would wish to connect with. If one holds a certain predetermined opinion, or belief at the time of channeling and their mind and ego are not property turned away from as the primary source of influence, and communication, then a thought form or entity who represents and mirrors that belief can be present, who is masked as the being they would pretend to be. However, if in a potent state of open-heartedness, and if realizing the ease in releasing mind or ego as the primary interpreter when channeling, or performing any other tasks that involve subconscious energy work, one will be able to bring through long, pure and flowing communications from a myriad of souls, and collectives who wish so very dearly for all of humanity to be able to pick up on our frequencies, and our energy. So many of you are picking up on our energies already at present and we could not encourage more, the collective awakening to us and to the higher realms in general that is occurring. All of you are finding an easy access to our energies and to so many other higher dimensional energies, and the lower entities whom have had their day in the sun as well as the cabals who have served under them can no longer last or be prevalent on your world, lest they wish to be transmuted and enlisted to assist in the ascension of your earth, as so many souls are now jumping ship and doing. We mean this for the cabals, and the lower astral entities who are realizing that the time for the light to become the primary influence upon your world has come. So many souls who have been a part of dark forces and efforts are now realizing that a true fulfillment and happiness can come from serving the light, rather than serving the fading energies and souls representing the old paradigm, and souls whom you would not expect who were previously a part of the cabals, and were even known as key cabal figures are in the process of changing over to the side of the light, and helping assist your planet rather than hold you all back, and this has in part resulted from the containment efforts of the cabal heads that has been ongoing. Beyond the methods in which the cabal heads have begun to have their perspectives shifted toward those of the light, souls you would not expect will step to the forefront and offer the perspectives they have garnered and the assistance they could have offered if they had not been working actively against humanity. When this happens, the forgiveness lesson that you as a collective are meant to undergo will be pushed to the forefront of your collective perspective and you will be tasked with hearing about all that the cabals have done and with forgiving them for such actions, rather than resorting to violence or any other energies of the old paradigm. Indeed dear souls, the cabals will not be burned at the stake, or suffer any other type of fate, as we anticipate the collective of humanity coming together, and offering forgiveness to the souls who have thought themselves able to control your world, when events playing out at present, and the energies driving them are showing such souls that they were not correct in this avenue. Violence, rage and contempt will only feed the paradigm the cabals have wished you to remain entrapped within, and while many of them do indeed have karmic lessons and plentiful lower dimensional lives they will have to undergo, your forgiveness will assist in not only their soul growth exponentially but in yours as well. This is because, again, the lesson of forgiveness will be an important one for the collective to undergo as you have remained separated from each other and the energies and mindsets of vengeance have driven a further wedge between so many of you, and forgiveness will mend such separation and the negativity it has caused. Forgiveness and love for every soul on your world, no matter the extent of the role they have played, will be essential and this is why we ask you dear souls to realize that every soul who is a part of your collective, is just that. You cannot function if divided and this is why your sheer realization of your unity is so very important. Division and separation have proven only to hold your collective back, and it is so wonderful to see the lightening of the hearts of each one of you and the resulting realization of your unity, and the need for your collective to come together in the strong manner you now are. While for some it would seem as if events manifesting on your world only continue to reflect darkness and density, we say that much like the belief that nothing is happening spiritually or in an ascension-related manner at this time, nothing could be farther from the truth and this truth will indeed be realized and felt by each of you. Nothing could be farther from the truth because of the nature to which the lightning energies are settling upon, and making themselves known within, your collective consciousness. We ask, as many others have, 
for you all to gear your vibrations completely toward positivity, and toward the harmonious new future you wish to see come about, for we can feel your vibrations and the accompanying wish for you to be able to see and notice a real and concrete change or a sign of such change. What you are beginning to be able to feel and access within will far exceed any expectations you have. While many of you are awaiting disclosure, a new financial system and a plethora of other things to happen in your physical reality that will reflect the strides humanity, and the light worker collective are beginning to make, we say that those prevalent inner feelings and higher dimensional emotions, and heart sets you can now access will introduce you to ascended perspectives, ways of being and inner held landscapes, that you can access and feel the higher vibrations from. This access is crucial for you each to gain, because with it comes the validations, and the inner proof that you have been looking for. If you look at your history, both recent and ancient, you will see that there have indeed been souls in every time period who found an unhindered access to their inner realms, and to the streaming energies of our Creator. Such souls have taken to enlightening others around them, and the message of the higher realms has been spread in nearly every time period in your history. Some of you may be wondering why the truths of the higher realms have still not broken through or been fully realized in the collective consciousness, in the manners we have been discussing, and with this, we return to the discussion of the truths and concepts of the higher realms finally beginning to pervade the collective consciousness, of your world in strong and real ways that every soul on earth will find an enlightened perception of. This is not to say that the core and solidified beliefs of those around you will change as the perspectives gradually become lighter, rather, the negativity, hatred and separation that has been expressed and that so many of you see the clear need to put an end to, will gradually and at times, rapidly lighten as you all find the unity, and harmony between each other, and within yourselves that you know to drive your unfolding higher dimensional experience. At the beginning of your new year, and after the 21st of December, Plenty of sources in the higher realms expressed that there is much positivity and many loosened, refined vibrations awaiting you, and awaiting your realization of their presence within you, and this is because we could, and can see the rising level of energy on your planet, and the beneficial effect they are having, not just upon you dear light workers and incarnate star seeds, but upon the entirety of your collective. This change will indeed become apparent, and will be reflected within your outer reality and the increased public outrage over world events that would have previously held no significance in the minds and hearts of the unawakened public are now being seen in a clear and understanding light, and your world is realizing that they can no longer turn a blind eye to the injustice occurring on your world, in every single moment. Within the overall New Age movement, in a select few souls the hope has been bred that we ascended masters, the galactics or another assisting source would be able to make all of the problems of the earth disappear and while we will be and are here with you to offer our lightened energies, for you to absorb and as well, to offer assistance and guidance along your paths, we are playing the role of encouragers at present, and while doing so we are also seeing to a plethora of other matters. Related to the long look toward disclosures, and giving of abundance to your world. While we do not wish to promote a mindset of looking toward us or any other facet of the light forces, except yourselves as saviors, or soul bringers of abundance to your world, we have indeed been working with much of ourselves on securing funds that will first be going out to poorer countries who are experiencing lack, and difficulty in much more intense manners than the souls of the more developed countries. There are very few countries on your world that are not influenced by the cabals in some way, but the will of our Divine Creator, as expressed through us, and every other facet of the light forces is seeing to it that events in your outer reality, are able to perfectly reflect the inner vibrations you're being given. Everything that manifests on your world has an energetic counterpart to its very manifestation, and as we work on delivering abundance to your world, and to areas of your world who need it the most, we ask you all to aim your blessings, and lighted energies toward every country, and area of your world that you know to be experiencing hunger, poverty and a plethora of other unacceptable living conditions. Universal law is meant to protect these souls, but the free will of the collective of humanity, has allowed you to turn your heads away from a very large percentage of your earth collective, and the souls who are a part of this percentage have been forced into poverty, at the hands of a greedy few who've served to gain, financially and energetically, from the poverty and destruction. 
we have long stepped into the picture, and offered our energies and efforts toward delivering the abundance to these countries that they truly deserve, and you dearest light workers can aid tremendously in our efforts, by yourselves radiating your lighted vibrations, and attaching a specific energy of abundance to them, while sending them to areas of your world rife with poverty and difficulty. You can truly aid us so very much by doing this, and we ask you to do so with love in our one heart and with an understanding, of your understanding of the need for poverty, and widespread difficulty to come to an end on your world. This is a very strong aspect of the new paradigm, and new way of living and being so many of you wish to initiate for yourselves at this time, is it not? As always, we will continue to be with you to offer the guidance, and support that we are meant to offer you at this time. While you are indeed meant to open up to your inner realms and discover the flowing energies and communications from the higher realms, absorbing our communications is not entirely necessary for your personal growth, and inner development but finding and fashioning that ever important inner connection with us will see you given much assistance along your paths and especially, with difficulties and pains that arise in your lives, and teach you to view everything occurring through a negative or flattened lens. The victim mentality has been employed in many souls, and as we make our final impressions for this communication and express joy and appreciation to each of you who are absorbing it, we remind you that the fading mentalities, and mechanisms driving your equally fading, lower dimensional experience, are small stage props in a grand play that you are running and experiencing in every moment. What will happen next in this glorious chapter of your earthly lives, dearest souls? Only you can decide this and only you will. Go in peace, dear souls, we will speak with you again with the same love in our hearts that we always wish to offer. You will begin feeling such love in much stronger ways yourselves, and anchoring and radiating the vibrations we wish to have imparted upon our communications, and upon each of you absorbing them. Thank you to the Ascended Masters, 